What's up, Thrill Seekers? So today, I am going to be doing a interesting video. I am actually going to be reacting to the um, Six Flags prediction, or sorry, the Six Flags 2020 official announcements. It's not predictions, it's official announcements. So uh, yeah, hopefully I have all of like the volume and stuff right. I haven't really done a reaction video before, um, but I will be putting here is, here's the little, like, well, it's not there yet, but it will be there. Um, once I press, press play, um, the little screen, like, recording thing will be right here. Um, so just know that, I guess. Um, and anyways, let's just get into it. Um, I'm excited. I have already watched this, but I don't really remember too much stuff. I know, like, the basics, um, some of the coasters, um... But for the most part, these are my gen genuine reactions. So uh, anyways, let's get into it. All right, so let's see. And play. Okay. Obviously, classic Six Flags video has to have a cringy intro. Hello, I'm Jim Reed Anderson. Hello, Jim. Jim. President, CEO, and Master Chef of Six Flags where we're cooking up a sensational selection of Michelin Okay, that's a really good pun. I like that. Season. We're cooking it up. Unlike those loud, swearing British TV chefs, all we're cooking up for you is wholesome fun and delicious goodies. And of course, we'll be Roast. a new attraction at each and every Six Flags Park. Okay. So, let's get cooking. We're going to add a couple of these. A couple of these. For and oh, let's not forget some of this for spin. I don't think you're. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to put put that in the in a pot. <laughs> I don't think it would go well for you. But hey, you do you, I guess. Um, you're gonna get some electric shocks and maybe some explosions, but that's How okay. A healthy measure. A healthy measure of oh, gravity. Oh, well, that's plastic. Oh, oh my. That's right. It's the perfect recipe. Whoa. It's Goliath at Six Flags Magic Mountain, which is not a great, great coaster. Yet they still use it for all of the promotional videos. Six Flags Magic. Oh, saucy. <laughs> Incredible meal. Yes, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, wow! Bam! That's Bam. Now we're cooking. Bye. <laughs> okay, time for the I swear. Menu. Let's take a special sneak peek oh, of what's here on we go. the menu at the Six Flags Parks oh, for snap. 2020. Yes. Thanks, Jim. Oh, yeah. Looks like the menu for 2020 is going to feature... I will be pausing it periodically. Every Six Flags anyway. Park. Coming to Six, Six Flags, Flags Great Adventure. Oh, the snap. The Jersey Coaster. The world's tallest, fastest, longest single rail coaster. Yo. With 3,000 feet of diabolically that, twisted okay. track. Okay. This is going to be amazing. This is one smoking ride. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ah! Oh, oh, nice makeup oh. skills, though. Okay. Really quickly, that's going to be huge. Um, first of all, if you guys don't know, um, it has, I think it's 12 um, seats, um, which is good. Definitely a lot more than the traditional eight that we see on Wonder Woman and Railblazer. Um, so it's definitely going to have better capacity, which is great because even on like a medium crowded day at Fiesta, Texas, um, I've still waited like, um, excess of two hours for Wonder Woman, even though I waited like 20 minutes for, um, Iron Rattler. So, uh, really just that extra four on each car and it does have a mid-course brake run. Um, so... Just like the those access four cars are going to make a huge difference, especially when it's running three trains or even four trains if they can. Um, 
So yeah, that's that's gonna be a great coaster. I'll do an analysis probably maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of behind with a lot of videos, but it's okay. Anyways, let's keep going. Six flags over, Georgia. over Georgia. Okay. Okay. That's footage. Oh, now this, this right here, that I'm almost positive is from Six Flags Fiesta Texas, um, cause. It has been closed for a while, um, and that literally looks exactly like the one at Fiesta Texas in terms of the color scheme and um, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty sure that that's from Fiesta Texas. I could be wrong, um, but that's just my hypothesis. Oh, snap. Um, I don't plan on doing an experiment. Well, I guess we'll see um, in a bit to see if it goes. Anyways, but overall, Okay, additions, I guess. In the Let's all go. New Gotham City. Gotham City. Coming to Six Flags Great America. Okay. The world's tallest water coaster. Oh, well, that's Tsunami nice. Tsunami Surge. Tsunami Surge. With three gravity-defying hill blasts. Oh, snap. And five breathtaking drops. I do have to and say that those are super fun. City, yes. Great. Of course, Tsunami with the giant discovery. Honestly. Oh, 17 stories. Okay, so it's like one of the taller versions, like um, like Pandemonium and Joker. Another water slide, of course. Yes! We got it! I mean, we already knew that we were getting it. Okay. Okay. Launching across 700, 700 feet. feet. Sweet. Um, if I'm right, if I'm correct, um, that is a little bit shorter and a little bit slower. Like by just a tiny fraction. I think it's 65 are the normals. And I think this one is like 63 or something like that. Um, so overall, I'm so excited for the Power Splash. Um, and having it only three hours away from me, I'm 100% going um, next year to over Texas and probably like once or twice. And uh, that should be super fun. Super excited for that. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, yes. Because water comes out of an oven. Coming to the Great Escape. Soaring <laughs> great above escape. the park at over 50 miles an hour. Whoa. Adirondack Outlaw. That's probably. Yes. Yes. Okay, so they did get Green Lantern. By the way, that other thing at Great Escape looks interesting. Never seen that before. Okay. So there's one at Over Texas that I that I went on. And that's the, they're fun. Okay, more more water slides, of course. I mean honestly, those look very fun. So I'm not complaining. Paradise Island. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sick. I mean, it's not great, but... I've actually never been to this Hurricane Harbor, um, even though I've been to over Texas many times, which I feel like many other people have. So lots of water park additions this year. A lot of water park additions, which is good. I mean, I'm not... Lots of coaster enthusiasts are like, Oh, wow, so many water park additions. Yeah, more, more water park additions. Like, so many people are like, Oh, no, the water park additions. Um, that sucks. And, like, honestly, I don't... I'm not... And when and ever. Oh, yeah. Oh? Oh? Jim? <laughs> Jim? <laughs> But yeah, oh, Fiesta Texas. But yeah, I'm not complaining about the water park um, expansions at all. Um, just because I love water parks as well. And I know that a lot of the general public likes water parks. Like, just, like, the parks are focused on getting people in. And not every time is that going to be a new RMC T-Rex Giga Dive Coaster. Like, no. Um... <laughs> Like, they're going to get water park expansions, and all this means is that next year they might get something, some sort of thrilling flat ride, because they got water park stuff this year, so they'll get dry, 
park stuff next year, um, which is good for us. So, like, I don't get why people are complaining about the water park stuff. Um, anyways, let's keep going. Yes to Texas. Oh, yeah. That's a Zamperla Sky something. I don't know what it's called. But it does look really cool. A lot of hang time. That is for sure. Um, I didn't really guess this. I guessed a Girls Lower Sky Roller. Okay. I think this is Ragin' Cajun. If, if I'm right. Okay, another one of these. These look really weird and really fun. Something that I didn't expect. Like, I don't think anybody expected any park to be getting those. Um, those are very new to the Six Flags chain, at least. Um, but yeah, I think that's Rage and Cajun that went, I forgot what park it went to, but, um, I think that, um, that Spinning Wild Mouse is Rage and Cajun. I might be wrong, but I think it is. Okay, Six Flags America is getting another Giant Discovery. Okay. Not, I, I'm not complaining about the Giant Discoveries. I love them. Joker is amazing. Yeah, hey, hey, I mean, yeah. yeah, I love Holiday in the I Park. So it's really pretty. About our amazing smorgasbord of goodies in 2020, it is definitely, definitely. our best lineup of new rides ever. Uh, I would have to disagree with that, but sure. <laughs> So bring your appetite for adventure and get ready to sample the kind of pulse-pounding innovation and thrills that only Six Flags can offer. Uh, Cedar Fair. Chef of Fun, working alongside thousands of other brilliant colleagues dedicated to whipping up a tantalizing year of thrills. I look forward to seeing you all very soon at, at our Six next Flags Six Flags Park. Park. Yeah. Bon appetit. Mwah. Oh. Oh. Six Flags is the greatest theme park company in the world. Innovation is in our. That's why we have the absolute rides of any company anywhere. Does that work? Excellent. Okay. Okay, that was funny, except when he was about to say hole, and then it went <sighs> weep. I was like, that's not, that's a total fake. Anyways, oh, no. <laughs> um, okay, so, Six Flags announcements. Um, do I think that this year is good, or do I think this year is bad? Um, overall, I think it's good. <laughs> I'm going against the, what a lot of people are saying, and I think that it's actually an amazing year for them. Um, they are getting very unique things. Um, first of all, they're getting, what, one, two, three, four coasters. I know that only two of them are actually, um, actually really only one of them is completely unique. Um, the Power Splash, of course, is cloned, but it is unique to the U.S., um, so I would count that as a unique coaster in my standards, at least. Um, Rage and Gate, Rage and Cajun, and um, as well as Green Lantern are obviously relocated. Um, but I'm not sad about that. Um, I'm glad that uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain is getting more space to add something new. And I don't remember where Rage and Cajun was, but it was somewhere. Anyways, um, so <laughs> Six Flags Magic Mountain and Frontier City. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, like, just, uh, <laughs> I feel bad. I'm having way too much fun in this spinning chair. Well... Okay, um, anyways, I'm very disappointed. I'm not even mad, I'm just disappointed. Um, I'm very upset by six, okay. Um, I'm very upset by your actions. So, obviously, Six Flags Magic Mountain is 
going to open West Coast Racers very late in the year. I think they're, they haven't topped off the track completely. Um, they still have the break run in the station to go, um, but relatively they're on track to open by this year. But it, I don't blame them for getting some sort of leeway in order to have room to like open it in 2020 if they particularly need to. Um, and also, it's going to be hard to have other construction when construction is already going on in a different area of the park, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't blame them for that. Frontier City is a big oof. I don't know what happened with Frontier City, um, but they're not getting anything, which is very unusual. And even Magic Mountain, I think that they should have gotten something little in some other area of the park, even if that was like a kiddie ride something. Um, I think it would be better than nothing. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed in that front. But overall, I I mean, Daredevil Dive is going to be, cr or sorry, wait, no, Daredevil Dive, Jersey Devil is going to be insane. Um, Aquaman, the Power Splash is going to be amazing. Um, and I'm super excited about that. Um, and really, overall, I don't think it's going to be a bad year. I think it's kind of an average year. I wouldn't say it's a good year, but I think it's definitely average um, I'm a little bit disappointed in that I thought that because of it's 2020, I thought they would get something bigger just in terms of like, oh, it's 2020. It's kind of a big milestone for a lot of parks, um, like lots of, uh, you would have thought that lots of parks would be focusing on 2020 because it's like two 20s in a row. I don't know. Lots of people thought it would be a big year um, and it ended up not really being as much. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. But you know what? It's still a good year. Um, I'm excited to ride the new uh, Zamperla Sky something um, that's going to Fiesta Texas next year, as well as the Aquaman Power Wave. That's going to be amazing. And just overall, going back to Magic Mountain next year to ride West Coast Racers and uh, definitely other parks. I might be going to Six Flags Great Adventure. Ooh. Um, but anyways, I'm excited for Six Flags 2020. I don't know why people are hating on it. I feel like lots of people have been hating on everything lately, like Polaris. Or no, not it's not Polaris. Um, it's... Uh, it's another name. I keep forgetting what it's called. So I'm just going to call it Polaris. Um, Orion, that's it. Um, lots of people were like bashing Orion for no reason. And people are bashing this for no reason. Like, just focus on the positive things. Six Flags Great Adventure is getting a custom raptor. Like, that's huge. This is going to be a great year. I don't know why people are hating on it. Um, but anyways, that's my thoughts. That's my reaction to Six Flags 2020 official announcements. I will definitely have some sort of um, analysis in some at some point of uh, Jersey Devil. Maybe, honestly, I'm not even sure if I will because I'm so backed up with videos right now. Um, but... Anyways, that's really going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you knew. Well, I, that talk really was English. Anyways, I will see you guys all next time. Peace.